Creating an amazing and fun space within your Notion does not have to be hard and overcomplicated. I think a lot of us who are just starting with Notion gets way too much in their heads. And when it doesn't look aesthetically pleasing enough for them, they give up. So in today's video, we're going to chat a little bit about how to elevate and take your Notion page to the next level using simple and free tools like Canva. Hey, hi, hello. If you guys are new here, I am Myra. I am your Notion loving Slytherin. And on this channel, we do all things Notion loving, productivity, and cozy tech. So if you are into those kinds of things, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Also, let me know down in the comments below low. What is it that you guys would really love to know about Notion? What do you struggle with? What do you want to see as far as a video? Is there any other tips and tricks that intrigue you that you would love to learn about? I definitely would like to know and let's have a conversation down below in the comments about it. But without further ado, let's go ahead and hop on over and let me show you the really easy, simple things you can do with Canva to really elevate your Notion page. So one thing that I highly recommend to really elevate and take your Notion pages to the next level is to create some custom um, covers for your Notion page. I love to do them in Canva. To preference this, I do have Canva Pro. If you've been thinking about getting it, I highly recommend it. It is worth every penny. You can definitely check out the link down below in the description if you wanna check it out. However, everything that I'm doing here, you can pretty much do with the free version of Canva. So don't think you need to actually take that step but if you are considering it i do recommend it so let's go ahead and hop over to my uh canva here and these are the different covers that i have uh created for my uh reading template that will be available for purchase here very very soon so you guys are getting a little bit of a sneak peek of what it's going to look like and i'll show a little bit more i'm really excited for it but um i created these covers and if you're looking for like the pixels of the co covers it is 1500 by 600. And um, I just like to create different covers for not only the top of my Notion page, but even for when I have my database in a gallery view. So this one here up top is for majority of the reading um, cover page that you will see a little bit later. But as we scroll down, you're going to see like different covers. These are for the different genres um, in the book template that I have, uh, like contemporary, fantasy, um, things of that nature. I just kind of picked different um, vibes for that genre. And I like to use these for the gallery view just to give it a little bit of extra oomph. So these are really simple you can uh, create. Uh, so what I like to do is just start a, a new page that is, like I said, 1500 by uh, 600 PX. And I just create different things. I really love to use these um, frames here. And usually when you create a new page in Canva, this will automatically come up. So you can add a frame so it will fit there completely. And you can go through different elements and search photos. So let's say we want one with hearts maybe. We could search different photos and videos and however you want. You can get like real creative and just create your own with the different graphics and background colors. So the possibilities are really endless. So let's say I just want to use that and I could fit that picture right in that frame. And when we upload it over to uh, Notion, it's going to fit perfectly over there. So easy, very simple way to really add some additional elements to your Notion. And just so you guys can see it within my Notion, here is the cover photo that was first shown. Um, and I have this pretty much at the top. And like I said, getting a little bit of sneak peek of what the reading tracker is going to look like. So definitely I will let you guys know when it is available for purchase so you can kind of check it out. Um, I try to keep it fairly simple because I know that people are buying templates and they want to create it you know, their own. So I want it like a very like neutral brown greenish kind of theme. I wanted to keep it fairly simple. So it is going to be the same cover on um, each page. But so you guys can see like the different genres I was talking about. This is uh, the covers that I added for the gallery view. So you can get a little bit of extra oomph to it. And it just brings a little um, additional level of creativity and personality to the Notion page. Another thing that I really love to do to kind of elevate my Notion page is to create divider bars. Now there is a way to create a divider bar within Notion, but it's very limited. It only comes in a grayscale, and it's just 
not too much that you can do with it to put a lot of creativity. However, you can add um, different dividers and bars to your Notion page that you can create within Canva. So we are back over here with my Canva and I have this page called Notion Bars. And I like to use the dimensions of 2000 PX by 40. You can kind of play around with this. These are the thickness. I like this thickness. Um, what I also like to do too, just to make like a smaller bar is that I would create one that's 2000 by 20. So it just makes it just like halfway of that. I also love to do what you see down here on page seven is to make it into a double bar. So that way you can kind of get this multi-divider kind of effect. Here, I just input different templates so I can change the color. So I just take this double bar here and apply it to that page. It is kind of hard to see since it's very, very skinny and I just change the colors of them. You can also use different photos. It will stretch it out into it like you've seen before. So it's really um, however you want. Um, with these two bars, because I like to switch back between light mode and dark mode on my Notion, depending on like the time of day, how my eyes are feeling, whatever. You do want to save this as a transparent background. So that way, if you switch over to your dark mode, you won't see that white space in between. There's really so many different options and so many different Different ways that you can create these different bars and let me show you how it looks over on notion okay so as you can see here right under the quote i do have one of my created notion bars and you simply just add it in as an image so um, we're going to go ahead and replace it here and let's just upload a different image and there you have it you just upload it as an image and you can kind of change the vibe up like i said you can do it a little bit more skinnier i really like the thickness of this one i like to switch up the colors as you can see so i have like a like six or seven different color schemes for a template and i just like to change it up so yeah, as you can see here in the yearly archive, I have the uh, double bar one and it just gives it a little bit of a different vibe and you can create ones that are vertical. You can pretty much add it and adjust it wherever you want within your Notion page. And I think it just gives it a little bit more of a personal taste and just elevates your page overall. So one thing to remember with Notion, there is a free version and the paid version. The free version only allows you uh, so many uploads that you can add to your Notion page. But if you like to add a lot of different creativity and do these things that I'm showing you within Canva, it may be something to consider to go ahead and upgrade to the paid version. You get a lot more storage space with uploading items and documents if you want to keep track of different documents maybe you're a student and you want to keep track of the documents digitally within your notion um, i have seen people keep track of like job descriptions when they're on job searches it may be something you have to consider to go ahead and upgrade to the paid version of notion and definitely check out the link below i have the paid version of notion it's about 45 bucks a year so not expensive at all and it just allows me to add a lot more creativity to my day-to-day -day Notion, and I don't have to worry about using up all of my storage space within Notion. So definitely check out that link below if you want to upgrade your Notion. Another awesome thing that I have been seeing, playing around with different frames within Canva as uh, photo options or headers within your Notion. So let's go ahead and check that out. So the favorite one that I have been seeing lately is this very arch window kind of shape. I don't know what it's called, but it looks really, really cool. So you can find that frame under elements in Canva, and then you want to scroll down to frames, go ahead and do see all, and there are different shapes and sizes. So if you want like a hexagon view, whatever you want, you can really um, play around with it here. So I believe it's in basic shapes. And it gives like this like window kind of effect. Let me see, here it is. And you just add it to your project. And again, you can insert a photo, you can, you know, make it a different color, however you want it to be. We're gonna go back to elements and let's just see if we can insert this photo here. And it just makes it exactly into the shape. It fits it perfectly. If you need to like reposition it, you can just kind of edit photo and then go up here to crop. You can kind of move it around of however you want it in position. But honestly, for the most part, Canva pretty much gets it right. And all you will have to do from here is just save it. 
Um, I like to save it as a transparent background. That way, if I switch between light and dark mode in Canva, it doesn't really have like that white background effect or anything on it. So let's go ahead and download this one, transparent background, and we'll add it over to our Canva page. I am just going to add that image that we just created right below the clock here. I think it'll fit in perfectly there. So let's go ahead and put add. And you can just type in image to come up and we're just going to upload it. I will still try to play around with it. This is my first time using these. I do see these a lot over on Pinterest and in um, on Etsy when I'm looking at templates and things of that nature. Um, these are really popular right now. So um, I really love the vibe of it. It kind of gives this like window image kind of effect. And um, yeah, but I think this is a perfect size for it to be on the sidebar. Again, you can play around with it in Canva, but I think it just gives a little bit more of an elevated look to your Notion page. And it took like three seconds to create in Canva and upload to your Notion. Another really cool thing that I absolutely love to do within Canva, not only with my Notion projects, but just in general, is to create vision boards. And I think they're super cool to add to your Notion page. So you can constantly be reminded when you come back to your Notion, the vision that you have set for yourself for that year. And I know it's about that time to start creating vision boards for 2024. So this is a perfect tip to add to this video. So let's go back to Canva and show you how you can easily create a vision board. So here on the right, you can see my 2023 vision board. I end up putting um, my kind of word or vision word of the year, I guess. Um, I don't really like to do like words of a year, but I do like to have like a word attached to my vision board, so to speak. So that was my word for the year, which was luxury. And that is kind of the vibe that you can see, soft life, things of that nature within my actual vision board. So this is just an image um, added, just like we did with the other things. And the vision board was created in Canva. So real simple, real easy, where you can just kind of plug and play or you can get creative and create your own. But let's go over to Canva so I can show you exactly what those looks like. I think Canva is absolutely amazing. They have this marketplace for people who are creative and can give you different templates. So if you need something to get you started, you can literally just put in vision board and you'll get all of these different options. There's more and more being added every day, especially this time of year when people are thinking about vision boards for 2024 or the new year to come. So yeah, you can just search in vision board, click on one that fits your fantasy. I really love like collages ones, like the one you've seen in mine's. And this one here, I think is a really good one of a different collage and you can kind of go in and obviously put in your own pictures you can search pictures within canva uh pinterest is a good place to search picture pictures uh for your vision boards as well but yeah i really love to create different vision boards within canva and add them to my um, notion page just as a reminder for what i want to see within the year so that is going to be it for this video let me know down below what do you do when it comes to canva to add into your notion if you have any tips and tricks that the rest of us can learn from definitely leave them down below we're a beautiful community here and we love learning additional things about notion from each and every one of us so definitely leave those down below if you're new to notion and you want to learn a lot more and get more familiar with it i have a ton of videos for you definitely check them out here and as always i will catch you guys in the next video bye Thank you.